second event of the World Longboard Tour. This is the final event. We will be crowning world champions very soon. We've got our seed number one, Taylor Jensen, surfing against Jefferson Silva from Brazil. So live action, our number one seed, our two times World Longboard champion, going for his third World Longboard title, Taylor Jensen from California. A big vertical re-entry there after a good opening nose ride. So Taylor's won two. He's going for three world titles, but it's his uh, father-in-law, um, Nat Young, who's won four world titles. So everybody still playing catch up with the great Nat Young, as we see the mighty Taylor Jensen, six foot four, powerful. Didn't let the fact that he had a fall at the start of the heat affect him, did he? Oh, no, I think Tony Silvani is showing that what kind of a uh, competitor he is. And uh, talking about competitors, he, this is one of the greatest uh, uh, surfer right now on the tour, I would uh, say, with two title of a world champion looking for another uh, third third one on this event because he's uh, currently leading on the on the on the rating it's a little bit like the end section of nias um it's a hollow right oh, really, hand, yeah? very good wave as the contest continued the surf got smaller and it was uh, and, it, and the you know the title was crowned in kind of uh, shoulder high waves but what was impressive was the tube riding of a lot of these long borders earlier in the week. Maybe an update upgraded into a WCT one day. As we see from Sao Paulo, Brazil, our goofy footer Jefferson Silva there, toes on the nose, acceleration through this section, big sweeping, roundhouse cutback, vertical rebound, kicks the board up in the air. Badu Keras, the fact that you've got the wind, you've got the kind of shiftiness of it, not that velvet clean conditions that we're used to seeing in Southern California as we see our Brazilian goofy footer with a big roundhouse cutback. Is he going to get the chance for a nose ride? Jefferson Silva is great on the nose when he gives himself a chance. He's really good at hanging 10. That wave was very peaky, kind of similar to Malibu. It's like a long point break, you know, it tends to be in the kind of chest high range a lot of the time. Yeah, and I think so, yeah. So that would be very exciting for these surfers to get a chance to compete there. A little bit scrappy from Jefferson there, didn't really get an opportunity to get up onto the nose. And then in Heat 12, we've got Antoine Del Perro surfing against Lucas Lecker from Peru. As we see a great hang 10 from Taylor Jensen and a beautiful re-entry there, throwing some spray, spray, dropping that knee. Another drop knee turn, very light-footed for the big man from Southern California. Really great footwork and flow, powerful rail surfing, quick on his feet, pedaling up and down the board. Really impressed with that opening hang 10. So I think that score could well go into the excellent range, Tippy. So here's TJ, toes on the nose, there's the 10. Beautiful footwork, pedals back to the tail here. Watch this turn, drops the knee, sweeps that rail around, slides some fin, comes hard off the bottom here. Another drop knee turn, throws a lot of spray, runs back up to the nose, so quick, so light-footed. Another drop knee turn there, running back up to the nose. Taylor Jensen had a knee injury earlier in the year, but he's clearly recovered 100% from that there's absolutely no indication of anything holding him back. At the end of the day we all surfers we know we want to keep something as a secret. So keeping some secret spots under the hat Tippy from Bali as we see Taylor Jensen from Oceanside in California big sweeping roundhouse cut back after a nice opening nose ride gets a beautiful hang 10 on the inside there is he going to get one foam climb nice little hit from Taylor will he replace his 5.67 kind of nice not to have too much pressure put on him but he's still getting scores in the excellent range will he get Will he replace his 5-6-7? Beautiful hang 10, hang 5 combination. Big sweeping roundhouse cutback. Sets up for the 5, gets the 10. Pedals back to the tail here. And then does this big foam climb there. And Taylor Jensen looking strong. Our number one seed as we see Jefferson Silva toes on the nose. He's in a combination situation. Just less than a minute remaining. Taylor Jensen dropping a 7.17 for that last wave. Adding to his 8.6. Congratulations, Taylor. TJ Jensen going for his third world title. Commiserations, Jefferson. You bow out with that 13th place finish.